What the fuck? No, it's not even a Jebay. Legacy Killa HD made a video about this. I don't know who that is, but doesn't seem good at all. What do you mean plagiarizing? Forced to take down Elder Scrolls adventure game. Fake news? He's pretty real. Yeah, is this guy reliable or what? I mean, this this only. Oh my god, yeah, this guy's got like 500,000 subs. Bethesda Netherlands recently launched an Elder Scrolls tabletop adventure game, which was almost entirely plagiarized. Source? Okay, where's the source here? Bethesda's latest Elder Scrolls adventure taken down amidst cries of plagiarism. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah, this is really... Yeah, these two things are really similar. Read the update. Uh, where's the update? Uh, did I not see it? Uh, let me see. Update. With the original Facebook post linking elsewhere, Adventure has been taking down. All files in question are still accessible via Bethesda's Dropbox. A promotional Elder Scrolls theme. Okay. WoW will be next. It's literally the same text. Holy shit. Wow. Holy shit, that I, this is not ESO? No, it's not ESO. Who said that it was ESO? Not an official product from Bethesda. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't- Lawyers have been seriously busy for the last number of months and it appears that they just got thrown a whole new mess to attempt to resolve. Well, this is right now, so if you haven't about been the following the Bethesda like news for the last, I guess, seven to eight months there's been some lawsuits announced fallout 76 bethesda game studios big online only live service game as most of you know has had yeah. a few controversies one revolving around the special 200 dollars edition that promised a few really cool items like a power just armor can't get helmet away from that and a nice canvas bag just but can't get away from day, that the canvas bag was actually cheap nylon and bethesda then made a bunch of lies and excuses for why they didn't reveal to consumers the change in material before launch day and why they did not deliver on what they promised consumers. But one excuse was that they ran out of material, which I guess we all missed the news of the great... I, I kind of like the drama for this and everything. I'm only going to probably watch a couple minutes for this unless I become interested in it. I'll be honest, I... The only tabletop game I ever played was Monopoly, and that's because I could steal the money. Uh, other than that, I never played any other tabletop game ever. I've never been a tabletop gamer. I want to play actual games. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of theirs. No, really, like, me and my friend Lowell, like, because we would both steal money and cheat Monopoly, and we had all these different rituals that we would do, like, okay, take out everything out of your pocket, look underneath the board, we have to stand in an open space where there's no things that you can reach over to and grab things. My mom needs to bring you a drink because if you go get your drink, you're gonna go get the $500 bill that you brought from home. And there were all of these different ways that we would cheat in Monopoly. And it's like the game actually wasn't even about Monopoly. It was how I could cheat in Monopoly and make sure he didn't fucking know about it. Like, yeah, my friend, that's my boy, dude. <laughs> yeah canvas shortage of 2018. Eventually, players were contacting their governments asking them to investigate Bethesda's false advertising, and a law firm announced an investigation into Bethesda misleading consumers. This all led to Bethesda being backed into a corner, being forced to deliver on what they originally promised consumers, although they said it would take four to six months, and that was back in December. Right now, it's well, unclear if anyone stuff. has received a canvas bag. But other than that situation, there's yeah, been a lawsuit I wonder announced if that's for gonna Bethesda's happen. anti consumer refund policy with Fallout 76, okay. and there's a trademark dispute ongoing between Bethesda and a book publisher over Redfall, a title that likely Man, this will guy be really just can't get a break. with the Elder Scrolls 6. So yeah, Bethesda's lawyers these last number of months have been very, very busy, and it seems they will continue with a heavy workload, because this leads to today's big news that Bethesda okay, has been caught go. plagiarizing a tabletop role-playing game. This story comes via Ars Technica, with the title being Bethesda 
Bethesda's latest Elder Scrolls adventure taken down amid cries of plagiarism. Pulled Elsewhere RPG is extremely similar to a Dungeon and Dragon adventure I guess they got published the content. in 2016. Now, heading Elsewhere. down into this article, a promotional Elder Scrolls themed tabletop RPG adventure released by Bethesda Tuesday contained widespread instances <laughs> of apparent plagiarism from a Dungeons and Dragon adventure published like by that? Wizards of the Coast good. in 2016. That adventure was pulled down from the internet Wednesday afternoon, and Bethesda now says it is investigating the source. And yes, that's actually what they wrote on the Elder Scrolls Online Facebook page. I'm not sure if this is on all their social media pages right now, but they state, We have pulled a previously shared ESO tabletop RPG adventure while we investigate the source. Thank you. Okay. I think that we've just gotten to the bottom of this. This was not made by Bethesda, was it? This was made by a fan. A a am I right? I I I'm just trying to get, I'm trying to understand what the hell is going on here. It's, it's official, but not the main team. Outsourced? I mean, like, it's bad journalism. It's not an official Bethesda product. It was made by a hobbyist dungeon master that happens to work at Bethesda Netherlands. Uh, okay. That's, that's really convoluted. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know really what to even say about that. Like, what, what, what do you even, like, what do you even say about that? Clickbait is fuck? Yeah, I mean, I don't get it. You ...to those who reached out with concerns. And yes, that's exactly what happens. The original writer of, I believe it's called The Black Road, we're gonna get into all of this, but they pointed out the plagiarism, and as you would expect, the internet exploded, and they threw their anger at Bethesda, saying that this was unacceptable, and Bethesda, again, backed into the corner, were forced to take it down. Although it seems that it's this uh, tabletop RPG is still available through Dropbox, and people have downloaded it already. And we're gonna take a look at the examples of their plagiarism. So we're gonna start with the introductions for both of these because the plagiarism is just blatant with all of this but we'll start with the dungeons and dragon adventure the black road and then we'll okay so this doesn't even matter like that th this doesn't even like, this doesn't even matter like it, it's not even really bethesda it's people that work at the company like who cares i mean yeah obviously they plagiarized it obviously it's bad but for anybody to say that Beth Desta, um, like this is like, this is another example of Beth Desta being bad. Uh, that That's, uh, I, I don't know, man. They did not work for it? Well, I'm hearing like all these different stories, but do you know how I know that I think this is at least partially bullshit and not directly by Beth Desta? Is because their usual distribution method is not Dropbox. Like that should be a dead giveaway right there. That this isn't, an, 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 this is not an official product, because it's being distributed by Dropbox. Am I wrong? They promoted it. Yeah, they promoted it. That doesn't mean that they made it. Like that, that's those are two different things. Come on. Yes, you're wrong. Have you seen the race next video about ESO? They have their, that has their name on it. This is so, they're made by their Netherlands team. Yeah, but I, I think this is a little bit too nuanced for us to talk about on, on Twitch chat, honestly. Because it, it, there, there's like so many different like moving parts about this. Uh, no, no, uh, let me explain why that I think this is, uh, just think they're right. No, I, I do think that I'm right. So here's basically what it is. So... Bethesda, people that worked at Bethesda Netherlands. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go to the subreddit and I'll read it right here, okay? Just a second. Let me find it. Um, games. Okay. Let me see if I can just search this on, uh, uh, use, on Reddit. Okay, here we go. Uh, is there a way that I can find uh, the clip for it or not? Misleading. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is what's important. 
Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can find it here. Okay, let's see. Is there a post about this being misleading? I'm trying to see if I can find the post that people want me to see. Probably going to get buried at this point, but this article is bad clickbait journalism. This is an intentional plagiarism. The D&D campaign was being run by a four fun group of Bethesda, Bethesda Netherlands employees. Like almost every D&D campaign, they reused information from the Wizards of the Coast source books, which is the entire point of the books being published. That's what they're there for. So dungeon masters don't have to write entire campaigns from scratch. The Elder Scrolls online Twitter account heard about it and retweeted the link to their Dropbox. It was a dumb mistake from the Twitter account, but this was never meant to be by the DM. Sorry, but this was never meant by the DM to be created as an official promotional product, omitting the fact that a fact and making it seem like it was a professional product is pretty poor burnt. Fuck. Pretty poor journalism, in my opinion. So, yeah. E even though it was made by employees, it was an official product. Yeah. I mean, there you go. Uh, yeah, I mean, there it is. Like, I, I have, sorry, I, it's hard for me to read sometimes. Uh, outrage culture, defending customers, companies as a consumer. Well, here's the reason why I, I, I think I should do that. Is because if you're always complaining, even about things that are bullshit, is people are just going to assume that whenever you're complaining, you're just an idiot, right? It's like the boy who cried wolf. You, you can't just complain about everything and not take into context at all, right? There are certain times where companies actually do get the short end of the stick, and they look like assholes whenever they shouldn't. And if you're not reasonable sometimes, people are going to assume that the times that you need to be reasonable and the times that people need to listen to you, you're just an idiot because you were an idiot before. It's about having like, it's like integrity, right? To a certain extent. It's like if somebody's complaining all the time, then you're just going to assume that they're a complainer. That's all I'm saying. It was also free showing that interpretation for a product that sold the campaign. Yeah, I mean, I think it's completely different, man. Gaming journalism is some of the most insincere journalism? Well, of course it is. Like, I mean, why would you, why? Yeah, big surprise. People that write articles about video games are not, don't have the highest standards of integrity. Like, I, I, you know, like big surprise about that. I was original writers of the game, plagiarized, uh, got mad. Well, yeah, but like they're okay. It's okay for them to plagiarize that. Like they did nothing wrong in plagiarizing the the D and D campaign stuff because that's what it's for. Like I I have D and D campaign books downstairs. Like I I can show you this is like a common thing. Wait, is this like? Why is this like? I I'm I I'm beginning to be become slightly frustrated because because this is not like I, I'm not saying anything that's unreasonable here. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you don't understand the nuance to this, you're a fucking retard. Like, I mean, I'm sorry, but you just are. I get it. All right, we're going to go. We're going to look at the fast food thing, all right? This, I, see, I knew it was too complicated to talk about. Like, you, you were, it was too complicated to talk about. People wouldn't understand it. 